Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I have this Alice in Wonderland inspired wall decoration tutorial for you. So I start with this laser cut MDF plaque. It comes in three parts, so we take the middle part out and we're only going to work with the frame and the back plate. First I take this white acrylic gesso and apply two coats of it to get everything ready for further work. Once the primer is dry, it's ready to be decoupaged. So I have this wonderful Mad Hatter's picture printed on glossy photo paper using my normal inkjet printer. This picture was downloaded from the Digital Collage Club. If you're interested in joining them, there's going to be links in the description. And I also have discount codes in case if you wanted to join. So check those out. The original picture is a little bit bigger than this plaque. So before I printed it out, I sized it down on my computer. After I cut it out, I spray it with water and leave it to soak for a few minutes. It's going to help the glue soak in a lot better. To glue it down I use Mod Podge and I apply one coat of it onto the back plate of the frame. Put my picture on using my fingers and this cloth. I get all of the excess glue and air bubbles out of it. and then apply another layer of glue over the top. While I'm waiting for the decoupage picture to dry, I glue on the actual frame part To glue it down, I use trade grade PVA glue. After all of the glue is dry, it's time to apply clay molds. As always, I'm using DAS air drying clay, the same PVA glue, and I decided to make this lovely cupcake out of this redesign with Prima mold. I thought that little cupcake was just perfect for this theme. I also made this little bow. Next I take this silicone mould with little ropes on it.
and first I make enough ropes to go around the outside of the plaque. Once I've glued on all of the outside ropes and the cupcake and the bow as well, I make some of these thinner ropes to go on the inside of the frame. So next morning when the moulds were dry it was time to start painting it. So I decided to go for a checkered pattern on the frame itself. So I took a pencil and marked out the line for where the checks are going to meet. So first I take a little bit of this brown and white paint. Mix them all together. And using a little brush I freehand these lighter coloured checks. And I had to go over it twice to get the coverage that I wanted. For my second colour, I just added a little bit of black gesso into that brown and white mix and filled in the gaps between our first colour. Once again, to get the coverage that I wanted, I had to go over it twice. To paint the rest of the plaque, I used this pre-mixed blue paint that I had lying around. I've had this paint for ages, it's a custom mix of, of chalk and acrylic paints. It's been so long now that I can't even think about what paints I used to get this colour. So I used this blue paint to paint all of the moulds and the rest of the plaque. To paint the mould on the inside of the frame, I had to use a much smaller brush to get into all of the little creases.
and when I went to paint the mould where it meets the decoupage picture, I didn't really bother with trying to be super neat and tidy because any paint that goes over onto the picture itself is really easy to clean up. I just use a clean brush and a little bit of water and then wipe away the paint with a cloth. To decorate the moulds I used my coloured decor waxes. I actually ended up using every single wax that I have which I've never done before. The first wax that I applied is this Vintage Gold by Finnebar. And I applied it on all of the ropes, the bow and the cupcake holder. Next I took a little bit of white gesso and using a natural bristle brush brushed a little bit of it onto the cream part of the cupcake just to lighten it up. Next I used this red wax again by Finnebar to paint the cherry on top of the cupcake. A little bit of this green wax by Little Birdie Crafts to go over the stem of the cherry and a little bit on the cupcake holder. Sweet Rose by Finnebar to go over the cream part of the cupcake. And a little bit of Peacock by Finnebar again to go over the bow. To seal the plaque I used Heavy Duty Wood Varnish by Polyvine in Dead Flat Finish. I ended up applying two coats to the front and the back of the plaque. To finish the plaque off I tied a little bit of this brown satin ribbon so that the plaque can be hung. And I took one of these metal rose embellishments and using hot glue gun, glued it over the hole where the ribbon goes. And using Pebel contour liner in gold, I just added a little dot in the centre of the rose. And there you guys go, so this is the finished plaque. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I definitely really enjoyed making it. I had a lot of fun making this plaque and I am absolutely in love with it. I'm a big fan of Alice in Wonderland and the whole aesthetic that comes with it. The whole whimsical theme is just, I just love it so, so, so much. It's just so me. So I really had a lot of fun with it and I hope that I might have inspired you to go and create something similar. Of course I also got to use this little cupcake mold. When I bought it I wasn't sure when and how I'm ever gonna end up using it and who would have thought I actually ended up using it quite soon after buying it. So as always guys links for everything used in this video are gonna be in the description below. As I already said the wonderful Mad Hatter's picture is from Digital Collage Club. Check out the link for them in the description. And if you want to sign up, don't forget to use the discount codes that I have. You will also find them in the description below. If you would like to connect with me, links for my social media 
are down in the description below as well. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like, subscribe for more videos like this, share it if you know somebody who might enjoy it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!